Hello, this is Edison TV. My name's Anne Margaret Crow, and I'm delighted today to be speaking with Monsieur Fabrice Plasson, who is CEO and President of Ameba. Ameba is listed on Eurogrowth Next and has a market capitalization of around 36 million euros. The company is currently focused on biological crop protection products. So, Monsieur Plasson, can you begin by telling us why there's so much excitement about biological crop protection products at the moment? Hello, Anne. Thanks so much for, for your question. So, I think basically today we we not envision a world without an, any new treatment, sustainable treatment for our key resources, um, such as water, air, and food. So we see on daily basis the conventional product the impact they have on the soil and uh, environment and public health. So we need definitely to find a more sustainable alternative uh, for the treatment of these resources. But on top of this, we see the farmer complaining more and more that the commercial products are less and less effective due to resistance, natural resistance of pathogen. So definitely agriculture must find out a more sustainable treatment for the next generation. And finally, I would say the consumer demand is in, in this sense is very strong and followed and reinforced by pesticide regulation that force all the stakeholders to move toward a more responsible transition. Got you, thank you. And what specific biological process is your company's technology based on? So both applications of Amoeba are, are based on a unique scientific know, uh, which is the use of the natural capacity of an amoeba called Willartia mania situsimaki. And this active substance, substance um, from this uh, amoeba is a lysate of this amoeba, which is a dead form of the amoeba. And the dead form of the amoeba is the uh, biological uh, biocontrol agent we use. Um, we demonstrate, a, a, uh, and our scientific team demonstrate a very uh, a clear and double effect on this amoeba for plant protection. First of all, we elicit the natural defense of the plant. So it means we stimulate the natural defense of the plant. But, which is not the case for many bio biocontrol agents, we had a direct effect on the fungi uh, and on the inhibition of the um, uh, of the germination of the fungi, so it's been a double mode of action, which is very unique in the biocontrol world. Aha, that's uh, fascinating. And how are you using that particular property to create a defendable competitive position? Amoeba is, uh, I would say, a, a multi-layer of defense position. First of all, we are the only company in the world using an amoeba at industrial scale. First, that's the first defense. But secondly, we have patented the use of our amoeba as a biofungicide and is patented until 2037. On top of this, we have a know-how of industrial production of the amoeba and this no is something we are going to keep as a secret. So three layer of defense. Okay. And where are you with respect to commercialization? We are in a pre-commercialization phase, which is a very exciting moment for Amoeba. Um, because we have uh, dealing now with a lot of good news since 2022. Um, basically, we receive an approval for our biofungicide in from the EPA uh, to be used in USA. So first of all, very good news. And second, very good news, the same from Europe. We've got a recommendation from, from the uh, reporter member state Austria 
that recommend the, the active substance to be approved in Europe. So very good, very good news for my buy in 2022. But on top of this, according to the 400 field trial we do in in uh, in, in the last I would say three years, um, we accumulate a number of evidence of efficacy of the product on different application and different diseases. So not to be too long, but on disease, we have uh, made uh, show efficacy on powder mildew, on, uh, on um, uh, downy mildew, sorry, rust, septoria. And the product can be used, as we demonstrated, um, in different applications. And we have, for example, and it's uh, not uh, only, but at least, um, grape, vegetables, wheat, and tropical fruits. So the good news we will receive in 2022 has something on top of the efficacy is uh, in regard of toxicity and I would say no toxicity for the product. Because both agency, EPA and Europe, which is unique, has approved the product without any maximum limit of residue and no pre-harvest interval, which means that you can treat and eat. So even some biological product like copper, for example, has not this um, disposition. So we are very unique uh, in biocontrol agents. That's fascinating. It's a really good, uh, strong position to be in um, as we go into 2023. What's the next steps? What should investors be looking for? Naturally, we see a very good attraction from the market and uh, the client and the potential client is coming to us naturally. So what we envision in 2023 is to enlarge and accelerate the number of tests we are, do we are going to do with natural clients, our future clients in their field. And there is only one objective. And the objective is with this client, it's to optimize the program of our product in their field. Make sure we use our product in the best optimal condition for our end user. And this end user will become early adopters for us. And then we will certainly transform these early adopters in prescribers. So for their application or for their natural uh, geographical uh, location. So this is uh, the, the main focus for 2023. And the second one, I would say the one very important as well, is the industrial scale. So we build up a new manufacturing unit and in, in Chassieu, which is a, a pilot and a big one for plant protection um, in France to serve the market in 2024, 2025, when we will be able to commercialize the product. As a reminder, um, the project, the total project for a three years period, it's about 20, uh, 45 million euros. So we have 20, 23 million euros for capital expenditure and 22 for operating expenditure. Right, thank you. It's good things to be looking out for in 2023. And now tell us about the market. What is your addressable market size? And once you've got the new facility up and running, what potential share of that market could you take? So <clears throat> we are addressing the fungicide market worldwide with Samueva. And there is three segments of this uh, fungicide market. Organic segments, which is only the use of organic product. And we are an organic product. So we can definitely enter into this market, which is 1.6 billion euros so far worldwide. And the second market, which is the substitution market. So conventional pesticide that can be reduced by 50%. And that's the objective of the European Commission to reduce by 2030, 50% of all pesticide. So we have the second market the conventional where we can put our product to reduce by 50% uh, chemical pesticide. 
And this conventional market is worth to be $8 billion right now. So we will certainly reduce slightly by 20 or 30% this potential because we are not going to serve all different use of the product. But uh, I would say nearly we will target 50% of all this 8 billion euros market. And uh, turning finally um, to your biocide product, um, which is something that you have developed based on the properties of this very particular amoeba. Can you tell us about your plans for that? So for biocide, we have a different approach. Um, for plant protection, we decide to uh, go directly with our um, customer. Um, but for biocide, we have a market about in USA for about that represents uh, 200 million dollars. So we are more acting as a service company or as a, as a contractor and find a third uh, party to help us to manufacture and commercialize the product in the USA for us. And we will help um, one or the other to build up a manufacturing unit and to operate properly this manufacturing unit. Um, and I just remind reminder remind every single um, uh, person that we withdraw the dossier for uh, biocide in, in Canada. So that's the reason why we put in more effort right now on plant protection and new application than biocide. We can do both on the same time. Too much energy for us. So mm -hmm. we, fo we focus on plant protection so far. Yeah, well, it's such an exciting market. It's really taking off right now. So it makes sense, really, doesn't it? Um, thank you very much for taking the time for speaking with us today, Monsieur Plasson. And uh, we look forward to speaking with you again very soon. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. And thanks so much for your time. Thanks.